What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Stacy with Sand Trans LLC for the brand new Hot Shot video. Um, I got it here in the garage. We did the uh, maintenance this week, oil change, tires rotation, and so on and so forth. But I noticed on my tank, and the driver was also telling me that uh, it was leaking down here at the back. We saw fuel here, where you can see right there, a little fuel there. And I, I had a buddy of mine uh, check it out about a week ago. We put a little patch on it. But this, this fuel tank is all aluminum. It's only about a year and a half old. So it's not that old. I got it from Northern. Called them about the warranty on it. So it only has like a 12-month warranty. But as you can see, it's, it's beaded around here. And right here, between that little mark, and that mark, uh, we tacked it about a week, maybe about two weeks ago. We thought we had it. I didn't do a video or nothing like that on it, but I figured this time I'll go ahead and do a video. And at the same time, for uh, people who uh, hadn't installed an auxiliary tank, this is kind of like a lesson whenever I do the reinstall. But last time, uh, like I said, I snatched it up. And we tacked it between this mark and this mark. And... Um, it seemed like it lasted for about a week. So we don't know whether it's happening um, when it heats up, it's cracking, or we might have missed something. But I'm going to pull it off right now, and we're going to take it back and uh, re-weld it. Uh, since the last time I put some pads up under here, some rubber mats, to keep it from uh, rubbing on the bed. That's a big thing because these trucks take a beating while they're on the road. So you definitely want to do that. But uh, to make a long story short, uh, taking it out, Got two screws here. Got one screw in the middle there. And uh, two screws right here. That's it. Pretty much got the tank empty. It had some fuel in it. So I just uh, used my, my overflow line, stuck it on. Stuck, took this line off right here. It's my overflow line. Took it off, put on the output nozzle. And I just filled up these tanks. So here I go. Uh, I'm going to start taking it off and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I've got the tank all unbolted. Screws are out. So she is ready to move. Got the, um, the fuel line disconnected. I pretty much drained all the fuel out of the tank. So now I'm, I'm about to take it off. And um, because I don't want any diesel in there when he does the well, I'm going to flush it out in the back. So I'm going to uh, pull it off the chassis and wheelbarrow it. Not wheelbarrow, but um, get my, uh, my hand truck and then, um, then take, it, take it to the back and flush it out with some water uh, really good. And then uh, take it over to the welder. All right, fellas. And ladies, I uh, got the tank off. I'm flushing it out, and I'm gonna show you guys, if I can, where the water is coming from. So, if you can see that water dripping, that constant drip right there, and when I follow it back up, it's right here in the same area that we tacked. Just got a little small bead water right there that's coming out see it bubbling the bubbles getting bigger so take it to the welder and uh, we'll try it again this time um, it's going to do a little bit better you can see it dripping pretty good now the more um, the more fuel in the uh, fuel right now the more water in the tank the more pressure um, comes on the comes on the outside of the tank and the faster it drips so uh, it's gonna clean it out real good make sure all the fuel is done and take it over to the welder all right so guys we got the tank here at the shop a buddy shop three face racing in Conyers Georgia if you ever need a any type of welding done or need your car repaired he works on all kind of imports makes imports go fast but anyway right here 
is where he's going to re-weld it. Um, use some of his special techniques. You know, he's, he's pretty good at it. Matter of fact, he welded on my um, my toe hitch. Not my toe, well, my, my toe hitch. Let me show y'all guys that because that thing is doing real good. No cracks or anything. And he actually has some extra support on it. So, welding skills are impeccable. Look at that. Put the brace on it. This is not the actual tow hitch for this, but he customized it so it'll work. And uh, he's gonna come behind the other guy and re-weld it, and I shouldn't have a problem. But look at that, look at those weld joints. Loaded pretty good, so. Check him out, Three Face Racing. I'll show you guys the finished product once he's done. All right, we're getting it done, getting it art well right now. And I got about 30 minutes before the driver gets to it, so I'm under pressure. Because I was supposed to get it done yesterday, it didn't work out. And we got two loads on the truck that we got to get done. But we got two loads on the board, one on the truck and one to pick up by 12 o'clock. And it is 8.30, so he's doing this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and when he's done, hook him back up to the trailer, mount the tank and go for the best. But uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done. Okay, okay guys, we got it mounted back on the truck. I just want to show you the finished product. I just went and put uh, 90, no, 82 gallons in here. And uh, he got to beat it up real nice and pretty with no leaks. So uh, we're about to run out. This is the load we got on the back right now. We're going to drop it off, go pick one up. And we headed in Chicago. Illinois, hammer down, saying trans. We are out, driving for financial freedom as usual. And uh, like, subscribe to the channel. If I can help you in any way, just shoot, drop me a line. Bye.